it's no secret that the PlayStation Vita needs a great first-person shooter. The handheld's other two forays into the genre, Resistance Burning Skies and Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified, were, in a word, bad. Yet Vita is a lovely handheld with dual analog sticks and incredible power under its hood. When it comes to shooters, it's seeking redemption because it's the only handheld ever made that can properly handle an FPS. So when I got my hands on Killzone Mercenary, I was pleased to find a shooter that has all the makings of something great. Now I say that with an important caveat. When I first saw Resistance Burning Skies, I was impressed, but the final product didn't even remotely live up to the limited areas we first played. Yet, with this game being handled within Sony's first party family, Guerrilla Cambridge is working on the game. There's plenty of reason to be optimistic. What's special about Killzone Mercenary is that it understands the Vita and takes advantage of what it can do, even if it goes a little bit overboard at times with things like touch controls. It comes complete with a 6 to 8 hour long single player campaign, a multiplayer mode that accommodates up to 8 players, and a third mode called Contracts that gives players special one-off tasks within the story. Better yet, Guerrilla Cambridge has cleverly connected all of the game's modes by creating a unified monetary system that lets you earn cash no matter what you're doing in the game. And it's this monetary system that sits at the center of Killzone Mercenary. You see, in Mercenary you're not fighting for the ISA, rather you're a gun for hire fighting for the highest bidder. In the campaign, you play as a merc named Aaron Danner, and the events you fight in and around take place throughout Killzone lore. Better yet, everything you do earns you cash. Kill an enemy soldier, and you'll get cash. Kill him with a headshot, and you'll get even more. Kill two, three, or four enemies in quick sequence, and even more money will come your way. You get cash for just about everything, even for scouring dead bodies for ammunition. In this sense, Killzone Mercenary's hook is an obvious one, but it's also effective. I sense it'll keep people coming back for more. When you segue over to multiplayer, one which totes three unique modes and six unique maps, you'll find the classic Killzone gameplay you're already familiar with. Your character has a heavy feel, and I wish he was a bit lighter, but Killzone fans will find little to complain about. Special attacks called vanguards can give players an edge in battle, and with a slew of loadouts to try, there are plenty of weapons and weapon types for gamers to experiment with. And just like in single player, kills net you money, kill streaks net you even more, and an extra perk, Valor cards collected from dead bodies, give you yet another carrot on the stick to keep on playing. Having to double tap and then hold your finger on the back touchpad of the Vita to run is a bit cumbersome, however. Remarkably, the game runs on a mildly tuned down version of the Killzone 3 engine, so Killzone Mercenary isn't only fun, it's also incredibly beautiful. When I played it, the game was being funneled via HDMI cable to a television, and you'd think you were playing a PlayStation 3 game. Unfortunately, the game does utilize some touch controls that seem a little redundant, especially when executing melee kills. But it's not surprising to see a first party developer attempt to show off the Vita a little bit. Killzone Mercenary is due out exclusively on PlayStation Vita in September of 2013. In the meantime, for more on all things PlayStation, keep it tuned to IGN.